I've been challenged by Dan Haas to do the ice bucket challenge. Now, of course, a challenge for me is not to have ice water dumped over my head. I could care less, all right? You can dump ice water. I'm not going to sit there. I'm not cold phobic. What I hate, okay, what I hate is having my hands dunked in cold water for long periods of time or my feet. Now, so I'm going to actually stick, while I'm waiting for, I'm going to do a whole lecture on ALS. Two minutes of doing ALS and with my foot in a cold bath. All right? So here we go. Oh, okay. So here's the thing. I'm dedicating this to Jack Berry. Jack Berry was my friend. Jack Berry had ALS. Jack, ALS took Jack Berry's life. Jack Berry, I knew him. He did beautiful voiceovers for dramas that I did. He was actually did some uh, DJ work up in, um, up in Milwaukee. Amazing guy, beautiful voice. Guess what ALS took from him? His voice. How, you say? That's the point of Common Sense Medicine with Dr. Michael Berglund and the Ice Bucket Challenge. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Berglund. Welcome to the Ice Bucket Challenge version of Common Sense Medicine. Now, if those of you watching this two years later, you're going to be like, oh, that was so 2014. But right now, this is 2014, so it's not dated. ALS, some of you guys know, is also called Lou Gehrig's disease. Now, I want to move around too much because I have my foot in an ice bucket. Just remember that. Remember that. Okay? Lou Gehrig's disease, remember the Pride of the Yankees? I am the luckiest, luckiest, luckiest man, man, man on the face, 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 face of the earth, earth, earth. Okay? He was struck down. He, had a, he was an all-star by any means for baseball, but he was struck down early and he couldn't finish out his baseball career because of ALS. You say, what is ALS? A myotrophic lateral sclerosis. Now that pretty much describes what it is, but it doesn't help you at all. So A in Latin means not or non. Myo means muscle, trophic means nourishment. So what's happening is the muscles aren't getting nourishment. All right? And sclerosis is chronic inflammatory damage to an area creating where it basically destroys an area. So what we have here is nerves, motor nerves, which are also called muscle nerves or nerves that cause that go to the muscles to tell them to contract, are atrophy. So what ends up happening is everything in the body that uses the muscle going away. So what, what, what symptoms would we see? Well, we'd see weakness, right? You'd see withering away, atrophy of the muscles, the arms getting smaller and smaller, people would drop things, could hold things, but can't stand anymore, they fall. So one of the key ones is, is muscle weakness, but also we start getting into an inability to swallow inability to talk. Now was, again, when we talk about Jack Berry, that was, that was one of his problems, it was his inability to talk. The average amount of time that it, uh, that it takes from uh, diagnosis to death is usually about 39 months uh, where people die. Now there are some people that live a long, long time. If you remember Stephen Hawking, who is a famous uh, uh, theoretical physicist, uh, he's, he's still living. He's lived with ALS for 50 years. Now granted, it's taken his voice, it's taken his muscles, he's in a wheelchair, but he is still living. But, but, but why? What is this? What, what causes this? Okay, let me explain to you. The reason this happens is there's a, it's a genetic problem, okay? And why it kicks in later on, night, we, later on in life, that happens with certain genetic problems where at a certain point in time in people's lives, it starts kicking in, all right? The challenge with ALS is there's, a, there's an enzyme in 20% of the people that's defective called superoxide dismutase at, at chromosome 21. Now, what did you say? You lost me at super. I thought you were going to talk about superheroes. No, we're not talking about superheroes. We're talking about an enzyme, an enzyme that actually converts a free radical like oxygen, unstable oxygen, into stable oxygen and peroxide. Okay, that's superoxide dismutase. Now, you think oxidant, oxidant, oxidant. Rust is an oxidant in a car, right? So salt is a oxidizing agent, right? So we want to prevent salt from damaging or rusting out our car. Those of us in the Midwest know very well about salt and car damage. In the human body, that kind of damage comes at us and it can cause, depending on where, where the oxidation is taking place, can cause problems. Uh, cirrhosis of the liver is chronic damage, chronic sclerosis, chronic uh, oxidation of the liver. All right. So in this case, we have chronic damage of a nerve and that's basically wearing down the nerve and causing this massive problem. At this point in time, there are really no diagnostic tests like lab tests or things that you can say, well, how do I know? Can I go get a lab? No, there are no lab tests. What they have to do is rule out other uh, neurologic conditions. So they're looking for 
uh, syphilis and HIV and different things that can cause nerve damage. They're also looking at other upper motor and no lower motor neuron lesions. Multiple sclerosis include, is one of them. To see which one you're most likely have. And once they see some characteristics, they go, okay, you have ALS. The good news is, on a pr protective level, it seems like people that do more fruits and vegetables, people that have high levels of antioxidants in their diet, seem to have a lower incidence, have a lower progression of their ALS symptoms. So that's promising. Here's the ones they talk about, lycopene, uh, lutein, uh, beta carotene. We can also throw in vitamin C, vitamin E, grape seed extract, alpha, um, alpha lipoic acid. There's a variety of different antioxidants out there. Antioxidants are good for you. They help prevent disease, they help prevent cancer. That's why we're, we always talk about eating a, a diet high in fruits and vegetables. It helps, it heals, it protects. Normally at this point, I would thank you for joining Common Sense Medicine, but I have one more step I have to do today. And I got my foot out of the bath, which is entirely numb. All right. Here's my ice bucket. This is my challenge. Jack Berry, this is for you. Oh. Okay, that was a little shocking. Thank you. Now, I challenge Mike Dumas. I challenge my sisters, Beth Berglund and Pam Berglund. I'd love to see you guys do it together. All right, thank you. And you, you. This is common sense medicine, and I'm very, very wet.